I mean, the internet is both a, a curse and a blessing, obviously, in lots of ways. Um, first thing, everybody has different information needs. There are people who can't stay away you know, from the internet and try to learn absolutely everything about their particular situation. And there are other people who don't want to read anything at all. And either is fine. You just have to know what's going to help you. Particularly if you're somebody who doesn't want a lot of information beyond what your doctors have told you and you need to know. Uh, it's important to tell the people around you that because one thing cancer patients inevitably find is that everybody's flooding them. You know, their Aunt Mary is sending them things she's ripped out of magazines about what they should be eating. And if you don't want that kind of advice, tell people you don't want it or just dump it in the wastebasket when it comes. Or stop people when they start to tell you, say, you know, thanks so much, but I'm talking to my doctor about that. And that's sort of the end, you know, of the conversation. When you're on the internet, Although there are exceptions to this, you're probably better off with the .orgs or with the .edus than you are with the commercial sites. Uh, there are some very fine sources of information and there are a lot of other things that are not accurate and are just going to scare you very much you know, if you read them. Um, there are many very helpful, um, almost sort of social networking cancer sites where people are writing in about their experiences. And again, be careful what you read. People are not always, they may not understand themselves really what their situation is. What they're writing may not be accurate. And it may really be completely irrelevant to your own medical case, but you may read it and just get scared to death. So, and try to stay off the internet at 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, anything you read then is likely not to be so helpful. Wait till the sun comes up.